Hi, Danny here from VHix411. Today, in front of me, I have a Honda airbag module with the crash data stored in it. Normally, people would throw these away, but it can be cleared and done pretty easy if you have the right tools and knowledge of doing it. Uh, if you have an airbag module that needs this service, you can watch at the end of the video. I will post a link and where you can get it done to have it cleared now if you want to see how the process is done you can also go ahead and do it and if you repair these for a living you can go ahead also watch comment you're free to do so uh, this Honda airbag module has a EEPROM a mini EEPROM with a 95640 chip You'll go ahead and remove the four screws, open up the module, and remove the board from the case. And as you can see, a lot of chips. And there's one mini EEPROM chip right here. This is the guy that we're going to be clearing the crash data in. Now, let me put it on my microscope so you can actually see this here's the EEPROM very tiny very small and as you can see there's silicone all around it's shiny you need to clean that with acetone in order to have a good contact with the EEPROM. As you can see I got the acetone. I'll be using the ear swab to clean that guy up. So let me set it here. I will zoom in here as much as I can and I will clean my chip and pins around it so I can connect my connector plug to it. Now that I have my EEPROM cleaned, let it dry in case there is any silicone left. That way when you're connecting your connectors, they won't actually grab that silicone and dry out with it and you're going to have whole kinds of connection problems with your plugs in the future. Now let's put it to my microscope and as you can see, voila. you can look at it you can actually see all the stuff you can actually read the EEPROM number as you can see 9564 it's a 95640 EEPROM it's a mini and the big dot over there it's actually not that big it's super tiny that's this is the pin number one so as you can see there's a one mark also in here so we'll be connecting our pin number one here so let me set it here this will be my number one pin. I'll be using the precision clips for this. No soldering, nothing. This is super clean and easy if you have the right tools. I will be using the CarProg programmer. And we will go on CarProg to direct. We will click on the part number we have, which is the TK6011. So I'll go down to TK6011. It gives you what EEPROM to look for. 95640. You'll just click next. And then it gives you connection diagram. So it doesn't really matter that the diagram uh, or the picture on my car probe is a little different than over here. It's the same way of connecting it. EEPROM pin number one is always going to be the dot. Now my pin number one is going to be my purple because the manufacturer that makes these precision clips don't have a white color. So my white is going to be pin number one. It's going to be purple color. So once you connect that, you kind of wiggle it in there, make sure it's a good connection. And then according to diagram, next one 
is a pin number two yellow. So I will connect the yellow. These are pretty hard. Sometimes. So I got number three is nothing on the picture, so we'll skip that. We are going to connect the pin number four. I'll wiggle it and make sure it's a good connection. We will connect five. And then we'll do a uh, seven. Skipping one. And we are going to do a green number eight. Okay, so I got all my pants connected. I will need to make sure we have good contact. Which we do. Now we will try to read it with a car probe. Let's push read. Normally if it has a good read, it will show you the ID. And read number two, verifying, make sure we have a good connection. Done, ID not found, which means we probably have a bad connection. We might need to remove it, clean it. We probably didn't connect it. Yep, it's a bad read. So, I will remove and I will clean it again. Blow it out just to make sure it's drying out pretty good in there that way I don't have to wait for it to dry out now we're gonna go back to our TK6 A011 and follow the same instructions white yellow blue White is my purple. Good. Yellow is yellow. Blue is blue. Gray is gray. Red is red. All right, let's see this. Oh, let's see if this one is a good read. Looks like we got a good read. So once we have a good read, I can even verify since I had a connection error to their server. What CarProbe does is if you have the original CarProbe, they will actually read the crash and verify through their server. So it's trying to connect to their server. And then it says crash not found or crash found. read it through the back end and you can see 
these are all the information of it now even if you have exact same part number TK6 A011 you can see it right here in the file right here now a lot of times just because you buy a tool and uh, it says no crash found there is a crash once doing all the once doing these for a while I already know where the crash data is located in this computer which is from 380 through here and all these numbers right here this is a crash so I don't know why car probe is giving me a no crash I'll try to read it again just to verify otherwise I will have to do it manually so that's why it's good to have good and bad files in your library and of course have some experience so that way even an expensive tool see right now crash found it can actually throw you off so all you do if you if it did find a crash just push clear it will do the clearing for you automatically Since it cleared and verified, that means well, we'll check this area from 380, right here, 380 to 30, if it cleared it. So let's scroll down to 380, and of course, it did clear that exact spot. It cleared even a little bit more, but that's fine crash usually located is 380 through 30 so that's how the process of clearing a mini EEPROM on a Honda or Acura there's several different kind of Honda Acura computers regular EEPROM which is a little bit bigger they got the processors they got the Renesis they got the RH850 and the list goes on through the processors and the EEPROMs uh, some of them you need to remove from the board to read in this case this is one of the easy ones it's a mini prom connecting to it with the right tools and getting the job done so if you like the video go ahead and like if you got comments go ahead and also comment I want to hear your comments and if you want this job done because you don't want to buy the tools I will leave a link on the bottom of the video and also at the end of this video there will be a link you can actually go and get it done it's about 50 bucks to get this process going for you uh, otherwise thanks for watching